A day after a New York jury found former President Trump guilty, voters are sharing how his conviction may or may not impact what they do at the ballot this November. As Willie James Inman reports for the presumptive GOP nominee and President Biden, a lot is riding on what voters will do in those closely divided swing states. As many voters weigh their 2024 presidential choice, some are weighing in on the Republican candidate's felony conviction. Finally, I feel like a little bit of justice is served. We have to stand by our president right now in our country. If we don't, we're going to lose everything. Opinions about the trial seem divided along party lines. With a tight race between former President Trump and President Biden, November's election will likely come down to seven states that could swing to either candidate. Voters in those states who spoke with us say the guilty verdict does not change their vote. If I could do cartwheels, if he got convicted, I would do cartwheels. I'm so ecstatic that people came through. Well, I'm still voting for Donald Trump. I think this whole thing has been a mockery. It, I'm embarrassed for our country. Polls conducted before the verdict found only a small percentage of Trump supporters said they would reconsider their vote with a conviction. So far, new polling is limited. Pollster and consultant Frank Luntz. No evidence that people have moved away from Donald Trump, no evidence that they've moved towards him. The undecided just maybe giving Joe Biden another look. It's too close to call. Lunt says in the end, the election could hinge on undecided voters deciding they do not want to vote for a convicted felon. Willie James Inman, CBS News, Washington.